Today's conventional method of building houses simply doesn't work. The recent hurricanes and tornadoes proved that. Of course we don't want building and operating our houses to contribute to climate change. What we want is for them to protect us from climate change. Inertia is a new technology for building super strong and energy efficient houses with materials, processes, and machines that did not exist 30 years ago. The walls are solid. There's no siding to blow off. There's no insulation to become waterlogged. There is no furnace to require fuel. Assembly of numbered parts using an electric drill is fast and economical. The material used regrows in minutes and cleans the air in the process. Glue lambs are engineered wood that is stronger than the tree itself. You see them everywhere, holding up the roofs of churches, schools, and airports. Pound for pound, glue lambs are stronger than steel. Inertia uses glue lambs not only for the beams and structure, we also use them for the walls of our inertia buildings. Walls that are five to ten times stronger than the conventional two by four, plywood, and sheetrock walls. Glue lambs are renewable, reusable, and have phase change properties. They enclose and support the building and protect the occupants, and they help with heating and cooling. Each glue lamb is pre-cut and numbered at our factory. When they are installed, the wall is finished. This eliminates the seven steps and five trades needed to build a conventional stick-framed wall. There is no scrap. There is no waste. Assembly is fast and economical. Yet, the growth rate of our wood is even faster. With the growth rate of our southern pine forests, all the glue lamb material will have renewed before the house is done. The finished inertia home is massive and able to withstand the effects of climate change. Since wood is 50% carbon, tons of carbon that once fouled the air are now sequestered for hundreds of years. The materials have renewed, ready to supply another family with a strong, safe shelter. The inertia home can be paid for quickly since no fuels are needed to heat it and little maintenance is required. In the winter, the inertia home heats itself, using its materials and its design. Our glue lambs have resin with phase change properties. During the day, they capture and store solar energy. At night, they release it. An airspace that surrounds the home moves this heat energy, and it is stored in the massive glue lamb timber walls. This process works by natural convection and radiation. No fans or electricity are required. In the summer, or in hot climates, the house is self-cooling. The airspace surrounds and shades the house. It is connected with the earth under the house, so the house is surrounded and buffered by in-ground conditions. Heat is exhausted through the attic. Reflective, low-emitting surfaces prevent heat buildup. All this is by natural means, without fuel or electricity. What happens if the climate changes? This is a thousand-year house, so the climate will change during its lifetime. Global warming or global cooling, it doesn't matter. The house can handle either. The owner simply operates it differently. Other houses built specifically for today's climate will become obsolete, untenable, or unaffordable to operate. The inertia house is future-proof.
Our goal at Inertia is nothing less than a new universal building component to take the place of stone, block, and brick, which are brittle and energy intensive. We call them green building blocks, and they are tough, resilient, renewable, and economical. They will never become trash like the sticked frame houses destroyed by the storms. They can be reused over and over, or even resawn into other shapes. They can be made from farm grown trees, or even the trees felled by the very tornadoes and hurricanes they are designed to protect us from. As green building blocks, the trees felled by Hurricane Katrina could have rebuilt all the houses destroyed by the storm and 200,000 more. The state of North Carolina was the first to recognize inertia, as it was a 100% North Carolina invention and lumber was a major state industry. In 1987, inventor Michael Sykes received the Governor's Energy Achievement Award. The magazine, Builder's Trade Journal, said the inertia house could be as significant to North Carolina as the flight of the first airplane in Kitty Hawk. This caught the attention of the U.S. Department of Energy in Washington, which gave inertia their Energy Innovation Award in October 1987. DOE acknowledged that houses are America's largest energy user and solar geothermal was the ideal solution. In 1999, at the end of the century, the American Wood Preservers Institute looked at wood-related ideas and named Southern Comfort, an inertia house in North Carolina, as the most innovative structure of the century. In 2006, the History Channel, Time Magazine, and the U.S. Patent Office held a competition called the Invent Now Challenge to find America's most significant and potentially life-changing new invention. Judges included inventors, technology writers, and Apple Computer co-founder Steve Wozniak. 2,200 inventions were examined, then reduced to 25 finalists, and among them was the inertia building system. Inventor Michael Sykes and a scale model of an inertia house were at the final judging at Citigroup Center in New York City. The finalists were interviewed by Science Friday host Ira Flato. At the awards ceremony in Manhattan, Steve Wozniak announced the grand prize winner. In this age of scarce energy and dwindling resources, it was, unanimously, the inertia building system. The house that heats and cools itself, without fuel or electricity, built from material that regrows before the house is finished, was acknowledged as a breakthrough in both architecture and energy. Housing will never be the same. Inertia means strong, economical houses that heat and cool themselves without energy or pollution. Anything else is obsolete. Please visit our website at inertia.com to learn more.